hi, this is the, the, the fifth attempt I'm going to record this. I'll tell you why, right? I find it despicable the way some people get on the bandwagon of the law of attraction. I just find it ridiculous. And it's like trying to f get these words into what is really a serious video. I find it really hard. I can't find it really hard to do a really serious video about a subject that I think is a little bit silly. Okay. Right, there, that's out of the way. I've got my own series of videos about the um, about weight loss and it's, it's getting me into a place that is a really nice place for me. It's, it's slow but steady and sure and it's getting me there. Um, and I guess um, I'm able to say all this about the law of attraction because I've done it. I've, I've actually done it. I've done all that stuff. And I'm free from it. And it's really hard for me to figure out that only two years ago I needed it. What was it like to need it? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. And when I have a real client in front of me, I have their real issues and I can deal with it. But trying to imagine what, what, what a client might have felt. And the other day I was working with a client and she said, Oh, you've never been like I, I am have you? You don't know what it's like. I say, yes, I have. About two years ago, I was exactly like you. I know what you're going through. And, and, and it was all about weight loss. And I thought, oh my God, I've come a long way. And, you know, so what's it all about? That The law of attraction is about attracting to you what your thoughts are. So if you're thinking, for example, um, that you, if, if, if you think of yourself as that fat person, or that person that will be eating, or, you know, at whatever, you know, you're going to a function and you're thinking, oh yeah, wonder what the food is like, and that's what you'll attract to you, sitting down and eating. Um, whereas if you're thinking, oh, well, I wonder what such and such will be like, and oh, um, how's her new marriage going, and how's her baby, and how's, oh, and how, that such and such, how are their exams going for them, and all that, then you're interested more in what's happening at that function, rather than the food, and that's what you'll attract to you. You'll have lots of people coming to you and talking to you, um, and so you won't be sitting there looking for the next thing to eat. You'll, you'll be sitting there with loads of people talking to you and having a great time. So that's just one example. It's such a huge subject. But what I'm going to do is just give you a little example and you can tap along with me. And I hope that helps. Um, I'm, I'm going to do the setup and the reminder at the same time. So tap on top of the head to start with. I attract to me safety about weight loss. I attract to me acceptance from the universe from my friends, from my colleagues, even from my enemies, from my family, from everybody, so that I may lose weight and be accepted as that slim person. I attract to me all that is right so that it will be safe, right and good for me to be a slim person. I attract to me the sense of worth that I may be worthwhile to be a slim person. Or I may be worthy of being a slim person. I attract to me all those things under the arm. I allow myself to be in this universe as a slim person and I allow the universe to want, accept and find me worthy of being that slim person. I attract all that into my life. I attract slim. I am slim. I choose slim. My friends are slim under the arm and if they're not, they'll soon be joining me, that's fine. Everywhere I go, I'll notice the slim people. I attract slim to me. 
Everywhere I go, I'll notice the healthy slim people. I attract slim to me. I attract health, vitality, and under the arm, I attract slim. And that's okay. Thanks for watching. This is Suzanne from www.eft-scripts.com. Join my newsletter for some more free goodies which come into your inbox every now and then. And till next video, see you later.